Hey, what's going on? Your boy I sit here. This is take number three. Just so you know if I sound tired. Just want to thank you guys for helping helping this whole project out. If it wasn't for all of you guys, Mr. X, you know, he wouldn't be receiving the help he's getting. You know, we've already raised over two hundred dollars and uh it's really gonna help him and you know help him find a place you know right now you again him and his wife family you know they're they're uh, homeless right now and um you know that's what's going on thank you guys for just being there to help this guy he's very appreciative now second part what i'm going to say i do not want that to um take away from what i said before or just now but here's my here are my thoughts on project and just things in general that i just felt like i wanted to share felt like i should share okay again i'm not taking away from the greatness of the uh compilation i'm not taking away from everyone's entries or anything submissions or anything like that because you know all together as a total package it was great it, was, it did what it's supposed to do you know it was very special for this occasion and again i'm very appreciative but one thing that i want to say is that when I got a lot of submissions, I'm not saying this, and I'm not naming names, I'm not saying they were all of the submissions, but there were quite a few of them. One thing that I noticed was that, you know, a few people, you know, again, I've known for, or for at least a couple of years now, you know, and they're still sounding the same way they did two years ago. You know, no type of, no type of mixed game being worked on or anything, you know, and I think we really need to work on that you know um if you and again if you don't think that's your strong suit if you don't want to make that a part of your repertoire then you know find someone that's good at mixing and mastering tracks because it's not always about oh i just want to be heard or i'm just trying to express myself you can't fully express yourself without mixing you know i mean you can have you can have this great expression but when it's not mixed right or when things aren't sounding right or you know just it takes away from what you're trying to say through your music that's like you uh you you, you want to have something to say yet you don't know all the words to say or and nor are you using some sort of thesaurus or dictionary to help you articulate what it is that you're trying to say that's what not mixing is so it comes out you get the gist of what you're trying to say but you don't fully feel what you're trying to say and until we do more of that we aren't going to put a dent into into this terrible music that's out there you know you're 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 not going to you're not going to speak to those people that are dependent on the radio or dependent on mainstream or dependent on the crap the stuff that we consider crap every day you're not going to you're not going to reach them because again like i said in my earlier video they have a bunch of shiny turds <laughs> shiny nice bright shiny that's that has all of their attention right now so you're you're gonna have to make something that's gonna grab their attention and make them turn their head and just because you're using you know using some music theory you know somewhat that's not gonna cut it you know we're gonna have to really polish our stuff up and this is stuff I tell myself I mean, I'm not I'm, I'm not saying this stuff to, to say that oh I got it all I, I got it on lock you know and I'm, I'm great so I ain't got to worry about it but y'all do no I'm not saying any of that you know I'm saying that for everybody if, if, if we're really trying to make this happen and really spread the, the sound that that's missing right now the musical sound that's missing we're gonna have to get out we're going to get out of our comfort zone and even if you don't feel that you're in a comfort zone you're gonna to have to reach out for something be resourceful you know i mean no one comes in this world knowing everything 
you know um i don't think i know everything but i just go out there and try to find what it is that i need to uh do what i need to do you know i go out there i take initiative a lot of you don't take initiative you know you just you stick with uh fl or whatever fl studio and uh you know you might get some sounds here and there and you just use a sound or you just oh i got this sample here and use a sample and rely all on the sample and you know it just sounds like a sample being played and i mean you know i know i'm sounding like twe on that front but that is it is what it is i mean if 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 you send this to somebody that may know the sample you know that's what they're gonna say you know so um we, we we also need to quit feeling as if we got have to uh, be pat. I'm not even gonna say pat it on the back I mean, because people deserve to have pats on the back when they do uh, something deserving of a pat on the back. But if you're not really doing anything, no, you know, just tell 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 people what it is you're doing, and I expect the same thing. I don't want people just praising me just. Because I'm upset or whatever. Again, that even sounds funny with me saying that. But anyway, I, I don't even consider myself to be all that big time. I know people try to say that, but I really don't. I don't consider myself like that. I don't even. I don't even get take my mind to that point. You know, I just like I just like music. That's all. You know, I like making music. I want to be the best I can at doing it. And, and in the meantime, I want to help others get there too. That's it. You know, that's why I'm at with it. I tell myself this as well, you know, I'm always trying different things out, you know, and I don't always have to wait for someone to have to tell me to do something for me to try something, you know, just try something. I, I, I don't understand, like, how someone can have, like, buttons in front of them, right? And they won't, tr they won't do anything with the buttons unless either they have some instructions on how to use a button or... Someone tells him, hey, what about those buttons over there? But, so you saying it never dawns on you to try, oh, I, I wonder what happens if I turn this knob. You don't need, you don't need instructions. I mean, it, it, instructions are good to help clarify some things once you get to that point, but you don't necessarily need them to, to take initiative. I mean, it, it's, it's a, it's a knob. Turn it. See what happens. You have samples, you have sounds. Use them, play with some stuff. You don't even have to know the lingo, just play with it. And then when you're speaking with somebody, maybe they'll tell you, you know, what it is that you're doing, or you know, you'll find out, you know, stuff will click, but it's never gonna click until you experience it yourself. It never will, trust me, it's not gonna click. Somebody can tell you stuff to, to they're blue in the face, but you're not gonna fully appreciate what it is they're saying until you experience it for yourself which is you know why people always talk about the whole analog versus digital stuff i mean i you know i could care less about the two as far as uh which one's better i think i mean i do think that you can you know I, I, Analog is probably has a little bit more quality of sound, but you can achieve it with digital if you know what you're doing. I think if if you're exposed to analog or some type of uh, some type of hardware, it allows you to kind of, to really appreciate the value of the digital form. That's just like math. That's why it's good to learn math by hand instead of you know going straight to a calculator because if you know math by hand then you can fully you can fully utilize a calculator to its full potential you know so that's my take on that but anyway i just I, again i just think that we we need to aspire to to just continue to grow and not sit at this one level and you know, I was like, oh, well, that's just me, and that's just, that's just what I like to do, so that's just what, the, that's just, no one else understands me, because, um, they're not agreeing with me, they don't understand, no, it ain't that, you just need to try to do better, I mean, that's just, that's just how it is, it's, you, you don't want to do better, I, I just, 
I mean, I would never, I would never, I've never been like that, you know, you know, people consider me this computer genius and all that. I don't consider myself that. I just continue to learn everything as much as I can in in computers when, uh, when it comes to web programming and things like that. You know, I just, I don't know, I mean... <laughs> I just continue to learn. I'm a sponge, you know, that's it, you know, and I don't understand, like, why that isn't some, uh, a characteristic everyone has, you know, I mean, we all have brains, we should, we should train our brains to be sponges, basically, but it's just something I noticed, I'm sure you know who you are, and I've, I've actually told some people this, before for the last for our last one when we had the cash for Brandon, you know, and they didn't submit it some this time sound exact same way. No type of training, nothing. Just just sat there and just didn't soak in nothing. Didn't learn nothing from all those other all those other songs that were submitted. And we can learn so much from each other, but we just think, oh we this is just my style to not have a good sound. <laughs> I know that sounds, that sounds dumb, but it is dumb. They ain't gone, man. I mean, I don't get that. So anyway, yeah, I'm not trying to be mean, and I'm not trying to preach. I'm not trying to consider myself better than the rest because I don't even think I'm there, nor do I want to be. I just want to be the best I can. We need to keep doing better if we're going, if we're really going to do this. If we're really going to open people's eyes to good music again, we're going to have to do better. We're going to have to study. We're going to have to grow. We can't just wait on somebody else to do it for us. We're going to have to do it for ourselves. If everyone took initiative, there's no telling how far we could go. It shouldn't always be the handful of people taking initiative and everybody else sitting just reaping. What I was saying was, you know, people. You have a handful of people taking initiatives and doing what it is that they, that they need to do to grow and, you know, broaden their craft. And then you have people that just sit there and just reap everything that they're showing, reaping everything that a handful of people are doing, you know. And it shouldn't be like that. And you shouldn't. And he, and I'm tired of I'm tired of hearing you know oh I just don't feel like uh, you know I am not even at that level to no one was ever that all of us started off everyone starts off somewhere everyone and if you don't feel like that you can never get to a certain level then just stop just stop making music then I mean because that's basically what you're saying. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to do anything extra. You don't want to take any type of initiative or nothing. You know, what's the point? What's the point of making music if you're not going to grow or anything? I mean, do I want to become this big time producer? No, I don't. I don't really. You know, I, that's that's not why I'm see. That's not where I see myself. I'm too old for that now. You know, I'm. You know, maybe maybe tw twenty years ago. Yeah, I would have been about that when I was a young little kid. But now, no, I don't. You know, I don't need that. I'm just fine, just making the music and helping, helping others. And you know, I'm 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 good with that. So ain't no big deal. But we got to do better. We got to do better, man. You know, learn from the other people on uh, the compilations that we do. You know, everybody learn from each other. I mean. Everyone has some type of knowledge, regardless if you think it's going to help anyone or not. You still have some. You were able to make something, so you got some kind of knowledge, right? Don't sell yourself short. The moment you keep selling yourself short, you're not going to learn. Now, don't become arrogant, but at least know that you're capable of learning and capable of getting to a point to be able to share some type of wisdom with others. Quit holding yourself back. Just do it. And quit and quit waiting up, quit waiting for somebody to hold your hand and provide you a stairway and an opening. Create your own opening. Quit being lazy. So anyway, 
That's it, I'm done. Again, thanks. Again, thanks again, guys. But I just wanted to say that. Peace out.